It's shocking video. Border Patrol agents caught destroying food and water left in the Arizona desert for immigrants. The aid was supplied by a humanitarian organization looking to save them from the sometimes deadly journey. Border correspondent Oscar Margain looked at whether Texas is seeing the same problem. Kicking water jugs, removing blankets, emptying bottles. You get a good shot. Border Patrol agents working the Arizona-Mexico border seen in a series of videos uploaded online by the humanitarian group No More Deaths. Images you may have come across on social media. The footage is part of the nonprofit's recent study on the destruction of supplies dropped off along immigrant trails. No More Deaths reports that from 2012 to 2015, there were 415 cases of vandalized aid, including a loss of 3,500 gallons of water. They attribute the actions to Border Patrol agents as well as ranchers and hunters. Actions that the Border Patrol in Arizona has denounced as appalling and emphasize that it doesn't represent the agency. We wanted to find out if such behavior is happening in Texas. So we met with Eddie Canales, the South Texas Human Rights Center Director in Falfurias. In this county here, there's overwhelming support for humanitarian efforts. People don't want migrants to die. Canales makes weekly rounds to over 120 water stations placed all over Brooks County, an area known as the Corridor of Death. We stop at the first water station, a blue container found knocked over on the side of the road. It's usually filled with water jugs and has emergency contact information written on the lid. I had 15 of them stolen at once. That remains a mystery. Canales doesn't believe agents were behind the disappearance of his containers. In fact, he applauds their efforts to rescue stranded immigrants and help locate human remains. It doesn't make sense for them to destroy water at the same time helping me try to save lives. With the help of Border Patrol, seven human remains were found this week in this area alone. Canales believes their relationship will continue to improve as long as they see eye to eye in terms of the humanitarian mission. If we're saving one person and, you know, and they're picking up one water, whatever the effort is, I think it's making a difference. In Falfurias, near the Texas-Mexico border, I'm Oscar Margain reporting.